In this video we will take you through the PowerPoint of setting up your engineer notebook using Microsoft OneNote. So open up Microsoft OneNote on your computer. It will take you to the opening screen. And then click on the File tab. Click on the New button and then you're going to pick where you want to store your notebook. So you have several options, web-based, network, and my computer. The idea is to save it somewhere where the teacher can access this because this will be your where you save all of your work in the class. And your teacher will want to use that to correct your, your notebook. Then name your notebook, give it your name and the name of the course, and then give it a name saving location. So go to the folder on the network drive or wherever it is you're saving it and and save it to the proper location this is will automatically save everything you do on here is automatically saved so there is no save button on Microsoft OneNote then click the create notebook and you're ready to go the first thing you do is set up your tabs think of this like a three ring binder that you carry around to your classes only this would be your your digital version of that to set up tabs all you do is click this button over here and it will set these tabs and then you can just name them to whatever it is you want. So start out with a title page and then a biography page and then a main table of contents that outlines what you're going to do and then set up your modules. Once you set those up it's very simple, simple to select a module that you want to work on and then make pages within that module. So over here you would just click the new page button and then set up your pages. You also have the option of doing doing sub pages within here. So in module 2 you can see that there's several things. You'll always have a table of contents page and then you'll have your worksheets and your assignments and things like that that the module tells you. There is a note down here that says only make pages that relate to the content of the module because every module is just a little bit different. You'll be saving things just a little bit differently in those. In order to make the sub pages within your notebook, just arrow down on the new page button right here and then you can put these sub pages underneath and name those. So in your assignment, you're going to do some sketches of the wheel, the brace wheel support, the base plate and the bushing and then you would scan those in after you make the sketches and put those place those on these pages also you can take notes right in the notebook or if you have a hard copy paper and pencil a sheet of notes you can take scan those into the notebook and do it that way inserting files is very easy typical Microsoft product where you can insert pictures you can do screen clippings which I'll demonstrate in just a minute you can do a lot of other things here as well. On the draw menu, you can mark up your pages. You can edit the pages. This is typically where the teacher would go in and make marks, uh, correction marks and things like that to redline the, the drawings. And then as soon as you've fixed it or whatever, you can go in and, and erase those. Placing text is very simple. Anywhere you click on the screen creates a text box and then you can type in the text. You can change the color, the size of the font, the font itself. Anything you want you can grab the top of the box and move it around on your screen. The screen clip feature in OneNote allows you to crop out any part of your screen and insert it directly into your engineer notebook. The way you do that is to click the window and S keys on your keyboard simultaneously. This creates a crosshair on your screen which you can then use to enclose the piece of the screen that you want to clip. So if you have a drawing that you've done in a CAD program or you have an image on your screen that you want saved into your notebook, this is the quickest, easiest way to do that. So simply do that. It opens up your OneNote and puts it in there. You can actually cut it from one screen if it's not in the page that you wanted and you can move it around to wherever you would like that. 